everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's called a flip card because the inside flips like so. Now I saw this done with Shristi Patel um, and she did two panels on the inside but to me it was way too bulky. So I've only done one here and her sizing was a little bit different to mine so I've actually sized mine down to a normal A, whatever it is, an A6 card, A4 card, I don't know, oh, I've got my paper around the wrong way, oh dear, I don't know what happened there, anyway, um, C6, C6 card, I'll get that right in a minute, so I'm going to be doing this with everything that is still current, how about that? That makes a change, doesn't it? Um, except for the gems that I'm going to put on, on top of my poinsettia. So let's pop my card out of the way for a moment. And we're going to be using the poinsettia petals. Now I've done all the cutting out beforehand because I've actually cut out the large poinsettia flower, the large leaf. I have to put all these back in here nice and neatly. And some other bits and pieces um, along with I've actually stamped this flower here and cut that out as well so I will show you what we have here now there's a lot of bits so here's my flowers I've cut out my poinsettia flowers like this for the inside of my card and then I have my one to make up for the outside of the card here so that's that one there um, I do not have, a, oh, I've got a piece of, I used the silver, so I just had a scrap of silver. My green for my leaves was a piece that measured, oh gosh, I've got centimetres today. Um, one and a half by six inches, and then this was a piece that was six by eight, four, uh, eight and a quarter, but I probably would have been able to get two lots of flowers out of that, so you only need half of that for that. So that's for the flowers and everything, but here we go. So this is what we're using. The only bit that isn't, isn't um, current is this vellum. This is from last year. That's the flocked vellum. And I had a little bit left and I thought that's going to look really nice on the front of my card. So that's what I've done. Okay, so my main card is an eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. With my front panel being five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And then my flocked panel or DSP panel, which measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths. So that's my front of my card. For my inside of my card, you're going to need two panels that measure five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and one DSP layer that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths, and one writing panel that measures the same five and three eighths by three and five eighths that's that then for my flipper inside you're going to need let me pop them out of the way you're going to need one panel for the flip part one which measures five inches by three and three eighths with two pieces of designer series paper now this is double sided so I'll probably put one 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 the other and they measure, let me bring in my piece of paper, it's too hard to read from that far, two and a quarter by three and one eighth. For my other flipper part, flat, flat part, whatever you want to call it, you'll need a piece of card that measures five and three quarters by three and one eighth. And then you'll need three panels of DSP. And again, I might mix and match, I'm not sure. Um, that measure two and five eighths by five, uh, three and one eighth. For a panel that I'm going to put on the front, in this case, it measures, let's see, two and a half by one and three quarters. And then for my piece, for my sentiment on the front, and my tutorial actually says scraps for doing these pieces so because it will depend on what stamp set you use to what size you this is one inch by three and three no, yeah three and three quarters and this piece is 
three quarters of an inch by three and a half. So let's get cracking, shall we? So we're going to start by scoring our main card. Let's pop, pop my poinsettia out of the way for a moment. Poinsettia is up there in our main card. And we're going to score our main card at the four and one eighth mark. So that piece is scored. So let's bring in our other two pieces that need scoring, which is our flaps. So let's pop those two bits there and those bits there like this. And they need scoring at, let me see, I've got to get my paperwork out and go, making this. So on the five inch piece, we're going to score this at two and a half inches. And on the five and three quarter piece, we're going to score this at, I don't know, I've got to turn over the page, uh, two and seven eighths of an inch. So, if you're unsure, they're down the middle on both of those, on the long side. Okay, so let's crack on, pop my scoreboard away, and we'll bring in our main card and we will fold and burnish our card, making sure that it's really nice and even. There we go. That looks a bit fluffy on that end. There we go, I've got that off. And we're going to start by putting our panel on the front of our card. So we're going to glue our main piece of uh, real red onto the front of the card. Hang on, I've got a few bits of glue on that bit. And we'll glue that onto the front of our card, like so. And then we'll glue our designer series paper, or um, in this case, this is vellum paper. Now, I'm just putting this glue in spots where it won't show very much because being vellum it does actually um, show through a bit so if you can find spots like in this one where it's um, they're actually joined um, with a pattern on it like this one's got a pattern on it that's great you can pop some glue in those spots and it will be it will be good it will stay there so I'll pop those on there and you won't see them on the other side so we'll pop this one onto there and let that dry on there that will take a few minutes to dry so while that one's drying we will crack on with the ones for the insert so not those bits for my insert we're going to glue our Designer series paper to one of them. Now, I think I like the red with the red. It's very Christmassy, and this paper is called Heartwarming or something like that. I can't remember offhand, but it is in the mini catalog, the 2021 mini catalog. That's the August to December one. Now with our other piece, we've actually got, I've got a strip here that I'm going to pop down the side. If I can grab it. Oh my goodness. And this is just the same length. This is five and five, uh, five and three eighths. And it's just a half an inch wide. It's actually just a tiny bit shorter than five and three eighths. But it's not going to hurt because of it's just there for decoration just to tie it in. So I'm going to just pop this down the side here and because it's just that tiny bit sure if I put it just a little bit off each end it looks correct. Using my, um, I'm going to be using um, Early Espresso for the inside of my card here oh, if I can open it and I'm going to stamp, oh my goodness my pin just stuck to there and pulled everything all over. 
I'm just going to stamp on this side warm wishes from our, uh, from our home to yours and then I'll just use the back of my tutorial because this is my draft tutorial and I'm going to stamp this large um, poinsettia just in the corner here just like that because I only want half of them and then while that's there I will do my little bit of um, colouring so you can see how I coloured my other ones wherever I put them where did I put them? oh there we go there you go you can see how I colored these ones I um, used the yellow here and this is um, in the middle here is uh, oh gosh no pumpkin pie but oh yeah I did, did need it and I didn't bring it over so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the light one let's pop the lid on that out the way so I don't get ink over everything else and I just with my light one just went into the middle of each of the petals on the poinsettia because you get white poinsettias and the white poinsettias just seem to have like a yellowy edge to the middle of them edge center to the to the leaves so then I use the dark one just to fill that in so now I'm going to just fill in these ones here with my dark pen and these are daffodil delight that I've used there so that is my insert for the writing panel side done so I need that sheet again so let, let's stick that one to that one and that one should be dried enough now for the front of the card and with my flower going on the front of the card those little dots that you can see there they're not going to show at all but if you are worried about that you can always use glue dots or uh, uh, some kind of um, seal or something to put underneath that rather than being like that so we're going to put our writing panel on the left hand side rather than the right hand side of the card so this is sort of a back to front card in the fact that you put your writing panel on the left hand side of your card and that's the writing panel side of our card done now on the other side we're going to put our other panel oh gosh I'm really having a, a good old time here aren't I and that one's going to go on the side here I've got the I don't like those fluffy bits showing so that's the inside of our card there and let's pop that over there so now we're going to work on our flips flaps flaps <laughs> okay so we have two flaps here and this one's five and three quarters by three and one eighth and this is five by three and one eighth so we're actually going to fold and burnish both of these lines on both of these both of these score lines that we've made and we're going to then let me see what I've got to do let me see how we go on my smaller one which is the 5 by 3 and 1 8 we're going to pop our designer series paper on the inside like so so it looks like this because it will be open when we've got it going I think yep. okay so it will look like this so they're going on the inside of the card so I'm going to put these on here this way around I think yes So 
that we have one and it doesn't matter we can work out when we get there whether we want that at the top or that at the top so let's pop that one on one side and with our other one we're going to put our two our pieces um, let me think I've got to think <laughs> I really do have to think right so with our other one we're going to put our three pieces on here so we're going to pop let's see I think I'm going to pop that one at the bottom and that one at the top like so so we're going to pop these on here this one you do need to work out which way around you are going to pop your pieces of designer series paper on with as once it's on there you can't change which is up and which is down and for me I'm going to have that as my 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 bottom so on the bottom part we're going to flip that up and we're going to put our other piece of designer paper here now if you have a directional paper maybe I have that side yes I think I might have that side if you have a directional paper you do need to make sure that you put it on the correct way around So we flip that up from the bottom up so that the open edge is at the top and we're popping our last piece of designer series paper this way up and this is the correct orientation when it's open. So closing this back up now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this one to this one at this on this blank edge with this blank. This is where you need to work out whether you want that that way or that way. I think I'm going to have mine this way so that this contrasts with this paper here. So placing my glue onto the back of this piece here and with my not my edge with the designer series paper on the front but my other edge and my open edge to my open edge the card line it up so that it's square on those three sides we can lay that flat like that to make sure that it's nice and flat on three sides like so and you'll see that you've got this like a like a little lip here and that's the correct way because when that goes on there that's how it's going to sit okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up like so oops no we're not we're going to close that up like that i think i can't remember hang on turn the page that's it okay so we're going to open this up like so so that this paper this is now this lip is now hidden inside that like so so you've got this other edge here like so when it opens it's like that in the middle and we're going to then just get our ruler and our pencil and we're going to mark from this edge here this folded edge you're going to mark half an inch up on your card just like so on both sides like this and then just draw a line right across there like so now you're not going to need to worry about um, rubbing that off because you're not going to see it's going to be glued down like so so you won't see it at all now the best part now is while we've got this open I'm going to use my one eighth of an inch hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole making sure that it's centralized here and not too close to the edge but close enough that it's 
easy to get to. So, and that's now done out of the way ready. So now what we're going to do is just we're going to put our glue in this section at the top here. That line that we just drew across here is a guide so that we don't put our glue below that line. If we put the glue down here, this is not going to flip. Now turning this over, we're going to centralise this into the middle of our card here, like so. Now, for me that's good because I've got like lines on, on here, I can see that that's centralised. Okay, so that's now stuck down, and while that's drying, and we can see that's going to flip very carefully, you can check that out, we're going to work out what we're going to put on these. Now I've got three here, one I, um, that one's okay, that one's not, see I didn't cut that very well, so that one I don't need, and that one, so, oh, come on, out of the way. So I've already shown you how we, we um, coloured that, so I don't need to show you how that's done. Now I'm going to pop one of these here on the inside and I'm going to glue it down because we don't want too much bulk on the inside. Come here you. And don't fall on the floor afterwards. So I'm going to pop this onto here. We don't want it to go over this score line here. It can go above it, but it can't go on below that score line. And now with my other piece of card that measured, what did I say this measured? Um, one and three quarters by two and a half. I'm going to stamp my other... Oh, I think I'm going to stamp it in the early espresso so that it stands out again oh if I can open it my goodness some of these are so hard to open I tell you so I'm stamping in here made the magic of Christmas bloom this holiday and I'm just going to stamp that right in the center of that piece there like so oh well, that wasn't very straight was it so let's turn that over and try that again let's line this up with the lines on here so that I can see that it's straight and try again that looks a bit better ah, there we go I don't know which one looks better that one or the other one I think my eyes have gone wonky that one looks better to tell you the truth so we're going to glue this down onto the here as our little saying on this side now that that's dried enough we can lift this up and we're going to then place our other little um, whatever you call these things poinsettia um, I think I'm going to pot him up there now you can put other things in here as well if you want I haven't gone over the top because I think that sometimes you can just put too much I, I wish I could put another saying in here but I can always do that at a later date which if, if you've watched the um, tutorial online and watch the um, the pictures you'll be able to see now I have a piece of ribbon here and my piece of ribbon measures about seven inches long and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out again and I'm going to pop this through the hole now you want to pop it through from the front through to the back the reason for that is you'll get a much better finish on the front of your card I did mine the opposite way around before and it just doesn't look right so pop those two tags through the piece of ribbon and then pull them up try not to pull too hard all at once because otherwise it will actually 
tear. See how they get a much nicer look on the edge there if you do it that way compared to that way. So, and as I say, you can always put in more sayings down here, which I may do yet, I'm not sure. Then we can just trim them off so that they, the recipient knows that they've got to pull on those. That's all they're there for. Okay, so let's pop those in the bin. And that's the inside of our card done. And as you can see, that flips beautifully. So we're going to work on the outside of our card now. So let's bring in our pieces here. And we're going to stamp in real red this time. And we're going to stamp our Merry Christmas to pop on the front of the card here. Oops. Oh, my goodness. That didn't even stamp very nice. Let's try that one more time. That's better. Pop the lid back on that one out the way. And we can glue those two together. So let's put, do that while I've got this in my hand so that I know I don't put the wrong side on. Now I forgot to bring my gems over. So while that's just dry in a moment, I'm going to just quickly go and get my holiday gems. Oh well, maybe I'm not going to get my holiday gems. Doesn't look like I've got any left. Oh yeah, well. No, not there. <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. So I've got those ready for when we get that far. So we're going to build up our um, point set here now. So I've got my three petals and I've got three leaves here. So with my petals, I'm going to I'm going to squeeze them between my finger like so. So you get the shape of the point set here. And once I've done that, then I'm just going to lift them a little bit like so. We don't want to do this too much unless we're going to pop them in the, um, give them to the person that's coming because popping them in the post, they're going to actually flatten a bit, but this makes them look more realistic. So we're just going to pop those up a tiny bit like so. And we're going to do that for all three of them. Just squeeze them between your finger. Put one on the top and squeeze the other two either side. It just gives that look of the flower being a real flower. Okay, so then we're going to pop some glue into the centre of the large one. And put the next size off centre on top of it. And then we're going to do the same again with the next one. I'm going to put the lid on my glue while we do the rest of the for a second because it's starting to get a bit yucky whoops and that's our next one there so we're going to pop this into the middle of our card like so so um, it feels like it needs something more to me but we've got all these leaves and these berries and things to go on there so I think we're going to be fine so actually I'm going to glue this down I thought I was going to put it on with some dimensions but I decided I'm not going to so I will glue this one down like so into the center of my card just like that and now I'm going to put my sentiment up on some dimensions so that I know where I'm putting my leaves and everything so let's pop that onto the front of the card like that and I think that just looks perfect just there like there and now we can start building up where we want our leaves so when we do this we just pop some glue onto the back of our leaves and pop them in this will take a little bit longer to dry because it's actually drying on vellum so a bit more here so 
we'll pop another leaf over this side here and then we'll pop our other leaf I think in here like so now you saw how I put the pointed end in because that's the end that's supposed to be in we're going to pop these in here as well and I think these are a little bit long for my liking I've heard so many people say that and I think for me I agree with them so let's see we'll pop that one there on top of that leaf making sure we don't go outside the card and once again We'll pop another one over here by this leaf. Oops. And my last one, which I'm going to pop off, I'm going to pop over here on top of this leaf here. There we go. Oh wow, that just looks perfect. Let's pop those bits in the bin. We're going to pop the pin back into our glue if I can get it in there yep oops it's starting to get dry in there I can feel it now I have these gems these are actually retired but they look beautiful and I thought they're just going perfect on this card so I'm going to pop this onto this with a glue dot these are extra large ones that I have I don't know where I got these and that's going to go into the center of my point set here it is when I when it stays stay and then I will get I've got some of these holiday gems rhinestones which are in the main catalogue and we will pop a couple of these onto our card and that's our card for today I hope you've enjoyed that for me this is just beautiful I love it I love the way it pulls and I'm going to put another saying there I'm going to put another Christmas one there um, so and this will then flap up, flip up so you could put a hidden message over here you could even put your writing panel there and just put another panel like this over there so you can write under here um, but that's our card for today so I hope you've enjoyed that. That's that one. There's my oops, there's my original card, which I did with all retired products. Um, yeah, I think it's it's just really pretty. And I do love this one. I do love this Christmas card. I must admit, I think I think I know who's going to be getting this card. This might need to sit down like this a bit. So let's just pop a little bit of glue on this edge here get out the, so that it sticks it's not going to stick now he will he'll just need to be encouraged for a few seconds so if you've enjoyed this card and you would like the written tutorial for this you can head over to Dye's Den for stamping crafting and tutorials if you would like more information about the poinsettia petals um, and the poinsettia dies, which of mine are all falling out because I haven't put all back in there properly yet, which I will do afterwards. Uh, please let me know, and I can help you with your um, purchase if that's. And but I can only help you if you live in Australia for your purchase. But I can help you find a demonstrator in your country if you would like to purchase this over from another country. So I look forward to seeing you again next week and bye for now.